Before we can turn on some lights, we're going to go through how to receive DMX into your Unreal scene from a connected lighting console. Carmen supports connections to Artnet, Streaming ACN, and GrandMA3 VizKey. For this video, we're going to set up a Streaming ACN connection. To begin, let's go to the Carbon menu, and then open the Connection Settings panel. I'm going to dock this to the bottom left of the editor. Adding a connection is as simple as pressing the Add Connection button. First things first, I'm going to name this ASACN1. And then I'm going to change the protocol from Artnet to SACN. Next, you can either manually type in your IP or press this drop down and you can automatically choose one of the IPs. Next is the input universe range for this specific connection. So I want this SACN connection to go from universe 1 to 5. Under it, you can set an offset that this protocol will be mapped to. So I'm just going to start this at universe 1 inside Carbon. Here you can also mute and solo a specific connection. So before I click apply, I'm going to add a secondary connection. So if I add another one, you can see that we have connection 2. So I'm going to call this SACN2. Or you can even do multiple different protocols. So I could call this Artnet1. Leave us out Artnet, and then choose the IP you'd like. Now, let's say I want this to only be two universes, but then I will start it at universe 6 in Carbon. So here we can see that our first connection is from universes 1 to 5, and then our next is universes 6 to 7. I'll click Apply, and now we will see a DMX monitor and some of our DMX channels see activity. In the top, you see that we are currently looking at our first connection, with the, which is SACN1. However, we can change it using this handy dropdown, and we can see any universe. So here, you can monitor your second connection as well. Once we have our connection set up, we can hit the play button, and we can see our fixtures come to life. However, we can see in the viewport that our fixtures are way too bright. This is because in this new level, our exposure settings are not configured correctly. Fortunately, with Carbon installed, we can use a shortcut to apply our recommended exposure settings automatically. So let's go to the Carbon menu and then open up the Carbon Settings panel. I'm going to dock this to the side next to the Details panel. We can ignore everything else for now, but let's go into the Camera section, and here we see the Set Recommended Exposure button. When we press this, we'll see our scene go dark again. So I'm going to select our lights and then bump up the intensity quite a bit. As a reminder, Carbon uses lumens as our light units to ensure that our fixtures are accurate to real world fixtures. So if I search for post process volume, we can see that clicking the Set Recommended Exposure button added this into our scene. So in the Details panel, let's go to the Camera section, and we can see that it has applied the recommended exposure settings. So we recommend adjusting exposure as if you were using a camera. So to quickly bump up the brightness, you can bump up the ISO, and we can see our scene gets slightly brighter. Remember that your exposure settings may be different depending on the scene that you are creating. An indoor scene may be different from an outdoor scene, for example. Please refer to the excellent exposure video linked in the description for a more detailed explanation. Now that you know how to connect Carbon to your lighting console, we'll next explore how you can add to your design or even start from scratch using a robust library and scene tools.